everyone, my name is Veronica. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the Australian White's Tree Frogs. These frogs are native to the coastal regions of Australia and New Guinea, but populations have also extended to the United States and New Zealand as well. They prefer temperatures ranging from 80 to 87 degrees Fahrenheit and a humidity ranging from 30 to 70 percent. They are hardy creatures and their docile attitude has also made them become popular household pets. They vary in colors from blue, green, and brown, and they can change that color sometimes depending on how they feel in their environment. Other characteristics of these frogs are their sticky pads that they use for clinging to trees. They're not very good swimmers, so they rely on collected rainwater in trees and puddles to obtain that moisture to keep it in their skin. They also have a waxy layer of skin to help lock that moisture in, like other amphibians. These frogs are nocturnal, and they have very good night vision that they use for hunting insects, such as crickets, moths, and also worms. Some frogs in captivity have even been known to eat small mammals. The adult size ranges from three to five inches. Females are usually the larger of the two frogs, and males have a developed vocal sac that they use for their large croaks when they're mating. The lifespan of these frogs is about 15 years, but some have been known to live up to 20 years in captivity. The female lays anywhere from 200 to 1,200 eggs at a time. The tadpole to frog stage then takes about four to five weeks. Once they reach that juvenile frog stage, it takes another four to five months for them to reach their full adult stage. However, they don't reach their sexual maturity until about one year. Predators of these frogs include snakes, birds, and other domestic animals, though they are on the least concern of the conservation status. Their populations are doing quite well. These cute little creatures make great family pets, but you should really do your research if you consider bringing one into your home. They can be found also in your suburbs, around maybe light fixtures to collect bugs, or your swimming pool to take a quick dip on a hot summer day. If you see these frogs, they are not a threat to humans, so don't be afraid of them. Just let them enjoy their peaceful lifestyle, and you can go about living yours as well. Thanks for listening today, and I hope you learned some new things about the Australian White's tree frogs.